Hello and welcome back to Mexico News Network's Daily Report, broadcasting from El Dorado Royales Far Resort by Charisma. Remember to follow us on social on Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus for more information and log on to our website www.mexiconewsnetwork.com. Let's continue with more news. Have you ever imagined that energy and biogas could be extracted from prickly pears? Well, that is exactly what is being achieved in Mexico. The edible cacti plant, known locally as nopal, can be transformed into energy from biomass, a clean and renewable energy that could eliminate the need for fossil fuels. Nopales grow under minimal care conditions, even in the dry desert regions which covers 52% of Mexican territory. Because of this, some companies have been working to produce electric energy from it. Basically, the leaves of nopal are shredded and placed in a biodigester where they, strike, they, they, where they start decomposing and generating biogas which contains 65% methane. This, in turn, feeds an internal combustion engine generator which produces electric energy. Currently, this method is being produced through a project headed by Juan Manuel Castañeda Muñoz, head of the State Committee of Nopales of Aguascalientes, and it is expected to be easily replicated. Besides, nopales grow with only half of the required amount of water necessary for a cornfield. And that's not all. The residue from the production of biogas can be turned into biofertilizer a 100% sustainable product. Yes, you might be thinking, but what about the deforestation? Well, no need to worry about that. Nopal plants help retain soil in places where the ground has eroded. Also, they have created a, a hybrid type of nopal that grows 800 tons per hectare a year, a major increase from the 180 tons produced per hectare a year. There are also plans to produce ethanol as part of the process of obtaining biogas, which could lead up to the substitution of fuel with a clean natural gas. Mexico, with its international alliances, has enabled the creation of systems to measure forest changes and payments procedures for local farmers. Recently, the Minister of Environment and Natural Resources of Mexico, Juan José Guerra Abud, met the ambassador of Norway in Mexico, Mariti Nergard, to reinforce binational efforts in forest conservancy. Mexico's general law on climate change and its intended nation, nationally determined contributions in S INDCs commit the country to reduce its emissions by 30 percent by 2020 and by 50 percent by 2050 because of its commitment to the forest policies and the implementation of regulatory system the norway government has been working side by side with mexico since 2010 when both countries signed a memorandum of understanding on cooperation in the areas of environment forest conservation and climate change Norway will be supporting Mexico's efforts with 90 million Norwegian crowns, almost $11 million, that will be managed by a program called Strengthening of REED, Reduce Emissions from Deforestation and Forest Degradation and South-South Cooperation. Ambassador Nergaard stated to Minister Guerra Abud that Norway experiences and technology with Mexico for the well-being of its environment. This cooperation has three lines of action, the development and implementation of measuring, reporting and verification system, the promotion of South-South cooperation and the description of local research and incentives. Last January, a Norwegian deputation visited a carbon monitoring site in the township of Felipe Carrillo Puerto in the Yucatan Peninsula to learn about all the efforts and mechanisms that the National Forest Commission, CONAFOR, implements for the protection of these types of areas. CONAFOR has stated that by next June, Mexico will have an MRV that will allow for the efficient evaluation of measures that the country is taking to reduce CO2 emissions and forest degradation. 
the Mexican, the Mexican government has affirmed that Norway's experience with forest conservancy policy has been a great example for the country. Minister Guerra Abud also invited the Norwegian government to attend the 13th session of the Conference of Parties, COP13, which will take place in Mexico in 2016. And now I'm very happy to present to you my friend Tony. Tony, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. So? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. So tell me, how do you feel in this paradise, in this place? It's, it's amazing. It really is really nice, really relaxed. Everything is, you couldn't ask for any more. So how long have you been staying We've here? We've been here 10 days and unfortunately we leave today at 12.30. Today? Yes, oh my God. So, so you, 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 you have enjoyed all the, all the places here? Everything's the been, as I've said before, amazing. The people here are so friendly, so helpful, and I think we'd definitely come back. And which was your favorite place here in the resorts? Uh, I, co I couldn't really put my finger on one favorite place, to be perfectly honest. Everything is equal in its own right. Mm -hmm. So, no, it's brilliant. So, what about the gourmet experience? The gourmet inclusive? The food? Oh, well, you have different choices in each restaurant that you go to. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, we're going to go to the little pizza place uh, okay. for our last meal here, but in Giorgio's, in the other restaurants. And have you tried the Mexican? Yes, the Mexican, Mexican was lovely. Yes, yes. Uh, yes tell me about your favorite dish of the Mexican cuisine. Oh, I don't know, to be perfectly honest. I, Maybe I, quesadillas, tacos. Well, tacos will always save my mind. <laughs> tacos, always. of Ta course. Uh, they're, they're so easy, so nice, uh, and very spicy. So, okay. Yeah, it's good. Perfect. And you enjoyed the, the, the beach, the pool, the beach, all the environment. The beach is good. The beach is very good. The colors, oh my god, they're colors amazing. And we're just, just snorkeling out here at the, the, the rocks and the sandbags. Uh huh. Big barracuda. Oh my god. Amazing. It's something I'll never forget. Yeah. So, yeah, it was great. Once Absolutely. in a lifetime experience. Yes. Well, maybe not well, once in a lifetime, but come back. twice or maybe yes. three times, of course. Yes. Who knows? It's okay, perfect. so what do you think? When, I mean, you, you told me that you have been here for 10 days. Yes. Okay. And you have already seen this place. Yes, we have, yes. And we have a TV set in, mm -hmm. in the middle of the resort. What do you think that we have a TV set here? To be fair, Leona, I don't know. You, you don't know, no, okay. The, the thing is that we, on, we only say, we only, uh, we only broadcast mm -hmm. good news and positive news about Mexico. Yes. Because it, the only thing that you heard maybe back in your country is that bad things, politics and, mm -hmm. and, and those things, but we only talk about the positive things about Mexico, about the people, good. about the food, about the tourism. What mm -hmm. do you think about that? I think it's amazing. As, as I said before, the people are so friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, and for what you hear in the, 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 the news, the papers, I have a different perspective on that now. So what are you from? I'm Tell from, us. Well, I'm originally from the UK, but I live on a little set of islands called the Channel Islands, okay. just off the west of France. So, so uh, this, this weather is a little bit different. <laughs> it's a little bit different. <laughs> Jersey, Jersey, where I come at the Channel Islands, is a lovely little island. Uh -huh. we, we do have a lot of sunshine, mm -hmm. nothing like this. <laughs> nothing, nothing like, like this, this no. like palm trees and no, cocos we don't, and we don't have them. Those course, things. No. <laughs> well, I'm so glad that, 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 you, have a, that you had a great time mm -hmm. here, and we hope to see you soon. Well, I think we'll definitely come back. Okay, definitely. perfect. Thank you. Thank you for Thank your you very time. Much. Thank you. Well, we're going to be back with more information on Mexico and the Riviera Maya okay. after these brief messages. Stay with us. <laughs>